In this video, we'll take a quick look at the extended surfaces capability now available in FEMAP 9.2. This powerful new functionality can be used to extend surfaces to meet other surfaces or solids, and so join up an unconnected solid geometry model that is representative of a weldment. The extended surfaces command is a new addition to the array of tools already present in the mid-surface extraction capability and we'll see how it can be used on a simple weldment model. Like this one, that comprises three separate and unconnected solid components eventually intended to be welded together. First of all, we'll extract the mid-surfaces of the solids using the Geometry Mid-Surface Automatic menu option. Selecting all three solids and entering the maximum thickness of the three components. With the surfaces extracted, we can now go ahead and delete the three solid components, leaving just the mid-surfaces visible. However, they are still three separate components made up of surfaces now, and so this is where we come to use the Extend Surface capability to link the unconnected surfaces together to form a single model which can then be meshed. Using the new menu option, Geometry Mid-Surface Extend, the surfaces of the smaller bar and corner brace can now be extended to meet and connect to other geometry, so creating one connected geometry model that can then be meshed. In the surface extend command, you are prompted for the edge curves that you wish to be extended and the solid to which they should extend to. There are also options to extend to a location in space or by a specified distance. With all the desired surfaces extended, the one last task remaining is to ensure that all surfaces intersect with each other so that a continuous mesh will be formed on the geometry. And so the model is now ready for meshing. So there we have a simple example of using the new Extend Surfaces feature in FEMAP version 9.2.